Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Once again today I'm working with the shortened cane, literally the baton, and the idea is to make my baton techniques as much like my barehanded skills as possible and yet still be efficient. So I am holding the cane in this grip and I'm striking at kicking range on the back. Now from here I simply wind up like I'm going to thrust. You notice my wrist is pointed kind of down at an angle in order to make contact with the bag. I aim my thrust at a specific point, and when I hit the bag, there's a little bit of a recoil. If I were striking out over here, there wouldn't be that effect. It would just go up and stop. But against a bag that is resistant, there's a bit of recoil. Now if I were striking here, when I thrust out, the bag moves. But in this angle here, not so much. So the recoil pushes the stick back just a bit. Now from here, I do a backhand and then a forehand. Then I wind up, thrust, backhand, forehand. Now the idea is not to go too fast. Same thing on the other side. One, then another, then another. One, then another, then another. Kind of one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's one, then one, then one. Just happens in a row. It's not a blur of movement. If I were doing it barehanded as a combination, it would be which is a different thing. This is a much broader swing. I go all the way out, all the way through, and all the way back. So when there's nothing to hit but air, I concentrate on the control. Same thing on the other side from here. Thrust out, back, and back. Thrust out, back, and back. Like that.